Hey, welcome back. Good to see you again. Toy House here. And today we're going to talk about Brewfest because Brewfest is happening. Brewfest is actually being set up as I speak right now. It's going to begin on September 20th and it will run until October 4th. And in this video, I'm going to talk about pretty much everything you need to know about Brewfest, which is coming up and I can't wait. It is one of my favorite holidays. I actually come, came to love it. At first, I wasn't super optimistic about it, but then I was like, you know what? This is pretty awesome. It's not my favorite. My favorite is Hollow's End, but Brewfest is a ton of fun and you can get some really cool stuff. So pretty much just like with all the other festivals, Brewfest basically is a quest that can start from any commoner in any of your faction's capital cities. You can eventually be led to Ipfelt Kofer, Iron Keg, outside of Ironforge, that name is crazy by the way, or Tapper Swindle Keg, outside Orgrimmar, to turn in this quest. So basically those are the main two questing hubs for Brewfest, either outside Ironforge or outside of Orgrimmar, depending if you're Alliance or Horde. One of the other main quests is Ram Racing. Ram Racing is one of the main mini games of the festival, along with the other barking quests. Barking is sort of a fun way of spreading the word, right? Go bark about Brewfest. Now with Ram Racing, it's actually really important to do this because it's going to unlock the ability to get to BRD really easily. Basically, and, and this is like going to sound familiar for you if you've done it, but do you guys remember how like, you know, you could, uh, when you're racing your Rams, you can either trot, right? It's going to move at 125% speed and it recovers two fatigue per tick, right? You can canter and it's going to cost one fatigue or you can gallop, which costs five fatigue per tick and you move really, really fast. And then eventually you get exhausted and you move at 16% speed, which lasts for 15 seconds. So you want to like try to balance between doing a gallop and a canter and like if you're going too much you're getting fatigued go to a trot and you don't want to get exhausted because then you're going to go way too slow i don't know if you remember that i totally remember that though um so i don't it's it's pretty fun it's a fun little uh part of Brewfest. um and again this is a really important thing to do because um it's gonna allow you to get the next uh, quest in the chain which is called save Brewfest, which you're going to get from darna honeybach outside of ironforge or slurpo fizzy keg outside orgrimmar this is going to send you to black rock depths uh so it's much easier than schlepping all your way down to brd uh the old-fashioned way so that's probably the biggest tip I can give you. Uh, there's also another quest called There and Back Again. This is the repeatable version of that Ram Racing quest I just talked about. So the Barking Quest is another one. This is basically going around spreading the word. You know, if you're Alliance, you're going to bark outside the bank, the Military Ward, the Hall of Explorers, and the Mystic Ward. If you are Horde, you're going to bark outside the Auction House, Valley of Honor, Wisdom, and Spirits. And, of course, there's actually also... You know, you can you can bark for different uh, distilleries. So Drones Distillery is the one I just said, as well as the, the Thunder Brews. But you can also bark for the Barley Brews and Takali's Voodoo Brewery. Uh, so so um, two versions of each, depending on which one you want to do. There's also the main event, which I'm super excited about. This is Corin Dire Brew. And I actually did talk about this uh, briefly, right? We're going to... the um, the quest, which is save Brewfest, is going to send you to Blackrock Depths. You might be wondering, why the heck are we going to Blackrock Depths? Well, you got to go to Blackrock Black Rock Depths in order to uh, fight Corin Dire Brew, who's our main antagonist of this season uh, seasonal event. So this this boss is uh, very very exciting because he drops some excellent loot that I'm going to tell you all about right now. So. First up, we've got Corin's Lucky Coin. This is basically a tanking trinket, dire brew hops, healing trinket, dark iron smoking pipe, caster DPS trinket. So he drops a couple trinkets. He's also got um, a attack power trinket for enhance, hunters, rogues, things like that. Um, but also he drops some really, really cool stuff. Probably the most amazing thing is the Dire Brews remote. This is going to allow you to ride to the Grim Guzzler uh, immediately. Uh, in my other video, I talk about it's like a rare item you should seek out in Phase 2. Definitely is rare. It has a 3% drop rate off uh, Corin Dire Brew, but it's going to really help you uh, get to BRD much quicker. Uh, to be honest, I think this is the fastest way because Save Brewfest is like a one-time thing. It sends you to BRD, but I'm pretty sure it's like you, it's not a repeatable quest so hopefully someone gets dire brews remote and then you're going to be super valuable once you have that remote you could probably charge people even i don't know i don't know how it'll go but it's really awesome 
There's also Darbru's Shanker, which is a nice dagger. Darbru Charm. Um, this is actually a fun trinket, which summons the Black Brew Maiden, who will smite your foes with empty tankards. Um, so that's kind of fun. Uh, fun trinket there. Uh, flavorful. Uh, and then, of course... Up to debate, but on Wowhead, the Swift Brewfest Ram and the Great Brewfest Kodo are listed here as dropping off Core and Dire Brew, 1.7 and 1.3% drop chance, respectively. I've heard people say that this is something you actually purchase with Brewfest prize tokens back in TBC. Gotta be honest, my memory just does not serve me. I don't remember. I know in Wrath of the Lich King they did drop. Uh, and you did not have to purchase them for Brewfest prize tokens. By the way, if you purchase them for the tokens, it's actually easier, in my opinion, rather than relying on a drop and then winning a roll. You honestly could get so unlucky that it's just impossible for you to get it. If you get the Brewfest prize tokens, it's pretty much guaranteed if you just put in the time. Okay, so let's talk about, you know, how, you know I mentioned these Brewfest prize tokens. So what exactly do they do? And how do you get them? So some of these daily quests actually reward them. Uh, some of the ones I've actually already mentioned to you. Um, so, you know, you can you can do, uh, you know, Ram Racing there and back again. That's going to give you some, um, some Brewfest prize tokens. You can also get Brewfest prize tokens from the Barking quests I, I mentioned, about 15. You can also get them from Dark Iron Attack. So Dark Irons are going to attack... Uh, the festivities outside of Ogremar and Ironforge. And if you successfully help defend against these attacks by throwing beer mugs, of course, at the attackers, it will allow you to pick up and turn in a daily quest. So you can do this over and over, um, which is uh, going to give you um, some some rewards there. Okay. And of course, um, just killing Core and Dire Brew uh, is a quest chain which will reward Brewfest prize tokens. So the quest itself is called Insult Core and Dire Brew. Uh, basically, the spy inside BRD will give this uh, to you. It's actually a daily quest, uh, which which summons Core and Dire Brew. So you can do this repeatedly. It's going to give you some uh, good uh, rewards there. Dire Brew's Dire Brew. This quest starts from the Dire Brew that is dropped from Core and Dire Brew. It's a it's a quest item. You just basically bring it back to either Ipfel Kofer Iron Keg outside Ironforge or Tapper Swindle Keg outside Ogremar. Now, there's also Chug and Chuck. Basically, you're drinking a beer and then you're throwing it. You can uh, just do that repeatedly until the quest is done. You get this from Boxy Bolt Spinner if you're Alliance or Bizzle Quick Lift if you're uh, Horde. There's also another quest this one time when I was drunk. This is a daily quest as well. Um, you get This is basically the quest that you get when you defeat the attack uh, on the festivities by the Dark Iron Dwarfs. That's the name of it. Now, there's two more quests. I know there's a lot here with Brewfest. The last two is catch the Wolpertinger, catch the wild Wolpertinger. In order to do this, guys, you got to be completely smashed. Like, you can't just be tipsy. You can't just be drunk. You got to be completely smashed in order to see these things in game, not talk about real life disclaimer. I mean, you can, you know, feel free to enjoy whatever you want to do, but in game, completely smashed. And then you're going to start seeing these little Wolpertingers go around. They're basically rabbits with antlers. Um, this one time, by the way, uh, my friend, he's got, he's got like a rabbit mounted on his wall with antlers. And it's like a Wolpertinger, right? But it's just funny because like typically don't you mount things on your wall that are like trophy size? It's all oh, I got. I got this giant fish or this giant buck, or this deer. But it's like, oh, the dude mounted a rabbit on his wall. <laughs> just like, I don't know. I thought it was funny, uh, but it was a Wolpertinger, so today i learned um so make sure to get completely smashed in order to see these wolpertingers capture them turn them in and you actually get uh a wolpertinger as a reward from the quest um so that is awesome um you have a cute little pet if you're a pet collector uh it's really easy to get though so it's not like super flex mode or anything the next one is pink alex on parade or i should say the last one is pink alex on parade you actually just go to different areas um, and and zap these Elix at the location and then go back. You gotta be wearing these synth brew goggles in order to see the pink Elix. Um, I think the guy's like, they don't believe me that the Elix are real and then they're actually real, which is crazy. Um, and then that'll also give you some Brewfest prize tokens. And what can you use these Brewfest prize tokens for? Well, I believe you can use them for lots of different uh, food that you can buy. You can also, that actually the food is just, just uh, currency copper silver gold but you can buy clothing like brewfast hats dress regalia slippers 
uh, things like that. You can also buy some hops. You can buy preserved Brewfest hops. This will transform your mount into a ram, a Brewfest ram. Warning, if it's a flying mount, it will lose the ability to fly. So be careful with these preserved Brewfest hops. Or if you want to troll someone, see them on their flying mount, you hand them the Brewfest hops like midair while you're talking to them. They, they use it, and they fall to their death or something like that. I don't know. You can try it out. Maybe it's possible. Um, so nothing like too crazy. And again, we, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe the Swift Brewfest Ram, the Great Brewfest Kodo are purchasable using the Brewfest prize tokens. When I played in Wrath of the Lich King, they were, drop, uh, they were dropped off of Corrin Dire Brew and they were not actually purchased for the Brewfest prize tokens. Other than that, though, there's the uh, Brew, Brew of the Month Club membership form for 200 prize tokens. There's Bellaby's Eyesight Enhancing Romance Goggles or Blixes. And uh, you put them on and it is guaranteed to make everyone look attractive. So another fun thing right there. Uh, and then you can also buy the Pint-Sized Pink Elec or actually Pint-Sized Pink Pachyderm, I think is the exact name. Um, that's 100. It's a pet. Uh, for 100 uh, Brewfest prize tokens. And then there's also the Brewfest Pony Keg. I do remember this being in the game. You throw that on the ground, people can tap it for some delicious Brewfest brew. But other than that, that is everything that there is to know about Brewfest coming out September 20th, lasting until October 4th. I hope you guys like this quick summary. I know I'm hyped for it. More hyped for Phase 2, though. That's coming out in just two days or one day, to, or even it's already out, depending when you watch this. If you guys like the video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a like. If you want more World of Warcraft content, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Toy House. Great seeing you as always, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.